We started off the first week of December with a visit from Kylie Lou. She was found over the weekend as a stray in really bad shape, really skinny. Her foot had healed wrong after being injured at some point in her life. She was in such poor shape that she had to go to the emergency vet and spent her first couple of nights with us there. She was feeling a little better than she did over the weekend, but she was going to have to continue fluids for a few days for sure. Some of our surgery patients for the start of the week as they were waking up from their surgeries and recovering. The kitties look a little rough. They were just starting to come around when I was taking some videos. We had Shay back, hoping that she was doing a little better. She was starting to get up and move around a little bit. We had her out visiting, trying to get her to move around and get some exercise. Still just not feeling great. Dexley and Posley came in for a visit. They'd been living in a van, and their siblings, unfortunately, did not get to come with them. They were already handed out to some random people. So we really hope that they're doing okay. But these two have got their first round, dewormer, flea prevention. Another litter came to see us. These guys were transferred to us from a pound. The pound is never a good place for puppies, with one of the biggest reasons being that they will often end up sick since they haven't had any vaccines at that age. Um, the mama actually had nine babies in this litter, but these three are the only ones left. Seven passed away, and two were actually lost from the pound. So we're really glad that these guys made it. Anytime new puppies come in, the first thing we want to do is get them weighed and started on preventatives and vaccines. Um, the preventatives like Wormer and Frontline get the parasites away so that we can make sure that the puppies are getting all the nutrients. And then the vaccines prevent parvo and distemper. Um, the one we're mainly concerned about is parvo. It's so deadly in puppies. So the only one that had any kind of abnormalities was this little baby. He's got these little calluses on his lip. But Dr. K is just thinking he needs a little time to grow and we'll watch it as time goes on. Otherwise, everybody's doing really well. Um, it does, you know, sometimes in the rescue, part of it is getting really cute pictures. So we have a little bit of fun getting pictures for their bios. These three adorable babies were some more of our surgery patients this week. So this is day seven with Shay. She looks a lot better today than she did last week. She's been hand fed, force fed, and up until yesterday she had an IV catheter. Um, that did come out yesterday and she got a bath because she also just lays in her bed for the most part and won't get up to go to the litter box to potty. She just gets kind of sponge baths and you can see some powder, some of the dust bath stuff. She will not eat or drink on her own. She will get up and walk around a little, but she's still pretty wobbly. So she's not the most lovey of cats. The only time she'll show us how she can walk is when she thinks that she has a chance to go hide. So if she's out in the open and sees a hiding spot, like her little bed under the table here, sometimes she'll get up. Hi. Come on. Kitty, 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 kitty. Good job. Good job. Sometimes part of the job is holding all the puppies and, you know. <laughs> and it's a crappy job, but somebody's got to do it. I mean, like, literally crappy. Yeah. <laughs> hey there, come here. Uh-oh. Yeah, Mama, they're here. coming for you. Like... This huge family was transferred oh. to us from another pound. This sweet little mama had 12 babies. We actually do not have room or a foster for these babies. Such a good girl. Luckily though, we were able to find another rescue that can take them in. So they came to the clinic to stay for a day or two just so we could keep an eye on them and make sure that they were healthy before they left to travel there. Even though these little guys kept us busy cleaning up poop constantly, we enjoyed having them there. Of course, they're adorable, and the puppy breath is irresistible. 
But even though these guys are so adorable, we really truly wish that everyone would spay and neuter their animals. These guys are lucky. They made it out of the pound alive into a rescue where they have a chance at finding a home. A lot of them don't, and a lot of them make it to a year or, you know, just past the cute puppy stage and not much further than that. We know because we see them filtering into rescue nonstop, day after day after day, and we want so much better for all of these guys. So for her entire stay, other than when she was at the emergency vet, Shay has gone home with me every night. So this is just some of her cuddle therapy. Today is a huge day. It was finally time for Merida to come in for her spay. She's got an amazing story and Sherry made an awesome video to share it. little bit is just a little graphic so if that is going to bother you you might want to skip ahead about a minute. So since Friday Shay really hasn't made much progress. Her very first visit was awful but within a day or two she was a lot more alert but she still wasn't eating, she still wasn't moving, so we're worried she's not getting enough food. So we decided to do an esophageal tube. Hey Sherry. Um, here Dr. K is preparing her to get that tube. Seems a little awful, but it's really pretty non-invasive. Basically, Dr. K is placing this tube down into Shay's stomach so that we can feed her without having to stress her out by force feeding her, and we can make sure she's getting plenty of food. According to some other veterinarians, sometimes it can take weeks up to months to get them back on their feet, so we're really hopeful that this will help. She made it through the procedure great, and... We're so excited for her first feeding. We waited for her to wake up just a little before we gave it to her. Everything went just like we hoped. She got a special mixture of food with plenty of calories. And then afterwards we flush it with some water to clear the tube and now she doesn't have to get poked for sub-Q fluids anymore. Now we're just hoping she'll get up and start moving around on her own. to play in the dirt. This great big puppy came in for his first puppy shot today. Mm -hmm. This is Quiz, and you wouldn't believe it from yeah, his okay. size, but he's only about yeah, three months old. Yeah, really, really big. How old is he? Is he older? I know. No, he may be younger. Oh, but his teeth don't show. So, he's going to be a very, very big boy. We're guessing Pure Mix, or possibly Newfoundland Mix. Either way, he's absolutely adorable and as sweet as can be.
It's Friday. We put the esophageal tube in yesterday, and she was a lot more lively last night. But when it was time to leave work and go home, I went in to find that she had given up. So, um, we went ahead and let her go be with her mama. We were just too late to save her. We did everything we could, and she knew a lot of love, and... Even though it's a really sad ending, we're glad that she, you know, didn't pass in that closet. She was there with us, being loved on through the whole process.